Okay, so the big thing coming up for all this week, Daniel Bryan will not be able to compete at Money in the Bank. Therefore, going from a stretcher match against Kane, which didn't sound very good, to having the Money in the Bank ladder match now be for the vacated WWE World Heavyweight Championship. So you're probably thinking, what if someone grabs one belt, well they don't unclip the whole thing at one time, well they still do an actual Money in the Bank match for someone to actually have the contract. A lot of interesting things coming out of that. <clears throat> Triple H also discussed how the Shield is going to be destroyed. So they're going to take out the Wyatts. The Shield, the partner they're choosing, taking on the Wyatts. Man, if only there was this one dude who was feuding with the Wyatts, man, I bet you he would probably totally team up with the Shield. And he did, so John Cena and the Shield took on the Wyatts. Great match. Wyatts and the Shield, beautiful match. John Cena and the Wyatts works well as you know, fantastic match. I'm almost thinking I want to see Harper take on Gold Dust. Because I think that'll probably be the best luchador match we're ever going to see in the E of those two guys. And of course the Shield is victorious. The Shield came out and cut a sick promo. Began with Ambrose. Ambrose in his weird Joker-esque Heath Ledger style. Just brilliant. And then they went to Reigns, and it wasn't very good. Ironically, when they showed it in commercial breaks, they would have Reigns talk first and then end it with Ambrose, which is the way that it should be, because Ambrose delivers a knockout performance whenever that microphone is in his hands. Period. Talk about how they're going to, you know, get theirs on Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins is a sit-down interview where he actually talks through, you know, I did this because I believe in Seth Rollins. This is about the evolution of Seth Rollins. Great promo. I haven't seen him do a promo like that since he was Tyler Black in Ring of Honor. Just great to the point, owned it, great promo. So now I have to get into some of the matches that have to deal with the Money in the Bank ladder match. Cesaro, Rob Van Dam, worked. These guys have had quite a few matches together. They've got their pacing down. Cesaro wins. Cesaro's going on to the seventh person Money in the Bank ladder match. Sheamus Barrett. It totally seemed like Barrett was going to win it. Barrett was dominant. He was vicious. Beautifully laid out match. You know, Sheamus and Barrett, it's like peanut butter and jelly. They go great together and you don't get bored of it. Because they do it so infrequently, even though they've had quite a few matches in the past, past week or so. It's vicious. It's brutal. And Sheamus, again, out of nowhere, hits a bro kick against a 1-2-3. <laughs> <laughs> Three MB talked about how they're gonna be the most dominant force. They were destroyed by the Shield. Nothing big there. Goldust tried a new tag team partner. This time it was our Truth to take on Ryback Axel, and they lost again. Cody Rhodes did say that his next tag team partner is going to be someone who will magnify Goldust. The Usos took on Fandango and his interpretive dance partner. Damien Sandow, and like a nude body sock. But he played it well. He played it well. I'm waiting for the week when he comes out as, as Damien Wyatt, at this rate. He played it well. Of course, Usa's got the victory, and it was just such a throwaway sequence. Paige again took on Alicia Fox. Ironically, you'd think with all the matches they've had, they would have a real great chemistry. This was another off night. It was kind of sad because when they're when they're on, great match, crisp, beautiful. When they're just kind of off, you can really, really tell. Trying to believe any of the matches. Oh, the inspirational one, Bo Dallas. Took on Xavier Woods, and he won with the Bo Dog. Or Stratus Faction, if you watched during the Trish Stratus era. I will say, if you live in the Chicagoland area, uh, Wizard World or Wizard Universe Chicago does have John Cena on Thursday, Bray Wyatt Page on Friday, Bruno San Martino and Batista on Saturday. So if you want to meet some Legends of Wrestling, you will fork over some cash to get them to sign stuff and post pictures, but they will be in the Chicagoland area. 
trying to look at anything else out for matches. Not really. Currently, who you have in your Money in the Bank ladder match to decide the WWE World Heavyweight Champion is ABR, Cesaro, Randy Orton, Sheamus. I'm leaving somebody out. Cesaro, Del Rio, Orton, Sheamus. Is a seven person one. I still have other 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 spots to fill in. Hmm. Drawing a blank. 